Yeah, what's up everybody? Welcome to another tutorial of Benjamin Fiedler's graphic recording. I hope you watched the last tutorial, the 25th tutorial of 2020, where I showed you some of the biggest names, the biggest masters here in the scene, in the field, and uh, giving you lots of expert tips. Today we uh, work more on basic tips, on basic techniques again, because um, that's also important to know the basics before you go into your mastery. And that's why I want to show you how to work with a chisel tip. That means not a round tip, but a chisel tip and how to draw nicely or how to write nicely with a chisel tip. Because I think there are two important parts when it comes to a good graphic recording. The one part is um, that of course you use color and you have a nice composition, but on the other hand it's super important that you have a legible, readable handwriting, a nice typography, and that's where a chisel tip comes into play because with this you can make a nice typographic uh, typographic style in your graphic recording. And I want to show you how to use a chisel tip in a basic variation so that you have a nice hand writing, hand lettering, um, no matter if you're right-handed or left-handed. So let's just jump right into the tutorial and I'll show you what I want to teach you today. So when it comes to a chisel tip, there are two aspects that I think are crucial, are very important. The first thing is um, how you position your, your, your chisel tip, on the, on the other hand is how you uh, work with the size of the chisel. So let's start with the position first. So the position for me as a right-handed person is always that I have to tip like this, so that the tip of the tip, the very tip of the tip is short pointing into, um, let's say, 9 o'clock maybe on, on a watch. So that when I make a downward stroke like this, it has basically a 45 degree angle. So I can make it a bit bigger now. And even a bit bigger, so it's like putting a magnifying glass onto my onto my stroke when I make a line. And here you have basically a 45 degree angle. And this is this is what, what you should practice first to get to a 45 degree angle when you work with the chisel tip. Because this gives you then later when you write something like, could I could write my name now when I write Vincent Benjamin. This gives you the, the nice calligraphic style that you that you're looking for when you work with, with the chisel tip. So the first thing is that you practice um, how to make a downward stroke and that it, like from the beginning to the very end it basically has this 45 degree angle and there's a little trick how you can practice this and I got this from an online course I made at SAP so what you can do is that you first make um, that you take a thinner marker a thinner pen you draw a rectangle and then you combine the two corners here so this is the Left uh, the right-handed version. I show the left-handed version later, and then you take your chisel tip. I take now a smaller chisel tip with this pen, and um, then this is the way how you can practice nicely to get this 45-degree downward stroke. So you try to start at the very line here and make downward strokes and practice. And it's always, like I said, important that you aim to have nice 45-degree angle lines here and of course there are pens like this where you have some um, cutouts here that usually um, may be meant to to use the pen just like this but i always look at the tip i just look at the very tip and sometimes i can hold the pen like this sometimes like this like on this side but i always make sure that the tip has the right position so first like i said first um first important thing is to have the right position so this is the right-handed version when it comes to a left-handed version, you basically go the other way around. So um, I'm not a left-handed person, but uh, what I tell left-handed persons always is that um, it, the angle doesn't go in this direction, it rather goes in this direction. So you hold it in another way, so the tip, like you see, is pointing into another direction. And when I make a downward stroke here, I can't, I'm not left-handed, so sorry for that, but it basically looks like this way. So also, you can use it for practicing, you can also draw again your little rectangle here, like this. But for a left-handed person, you would connect them, the lines like this, so make it on the other side. That means when you start to practice your downward strokes, you go like this, basically. So it's just it's just the same principle, just in a, in a, in a mirrored angle, basically. And once you have this, once you're uh, 
um, fit in um, drawing nice downward lines in a 45 degree angle, you can start to write and you can start to write nicely. And it's really important to, to know this, to have this technique, to have this um, principle in, within yourself. I was once at a sign painting class where we had to draw uh, straight lines for eight hours until we had the perfect straight lines. So it, takes, it really makes sense to practice. Okay, now when it comes to the size on how, how, how big you can write, um, we go, we're going to use a small technique from calligraphy. That means we take our pencil or we take a, a pen and, and the size. And we first make strokes like this. So I take four strokes for the um, for the smaller case lettering, and then I take another two strokes as a reference for the um, S centers and the D centers. And so now I would uh, make maybe a line. Oh, I thought I want to use a ruler here, but I uh, couldn't find a ruler that quickly, so I'm just going to do it freestyle. And now, now you have a perfect um, reference on how fast you can write or in what um, dimension the, the pen works best. So I have here the X height, that means that's like the size of the smaller case lettering, then I have here the ascenders and I have here the descenders. And um, now I can start to write, and I also can start with my name now. So um, I start here, make an uppercase lettering. So I write the B like this. And now I go for, for the E. And it's always important to have the pen always in the same position. So you always have in the same position, always in a 45 degree angle. In this case, I don't turn it. There are other variations where I turn the pen. But now I can practice really nicely the working with the chisel tip and this is a absolutely nice size where you have a, a nice position and um, a nice size for your for your chisel tip lettering and this is how you practice it so hold it in the same position then make sure to uh, know the size and you also you can also play around because sometimes uh, you don't you have smaller size sometimes you have better sizes but I think it works best with a with an X height of four pencil strokes, and this doesn't only refer to the to the um, to the big markers. I have a very big marker here, but also when I have a smaller marker here, I could also go down now and um, make like four strokes for the for the X height. Go like this, and then I start to write nicely here. So it's also here, Benjamin. I would go like this. Then. Jermin. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. So this is how you start to write with a chisel tip in a in a beginner way. I may make another another tutorial where I show more advanced techniques, but this is the basic techniques. Look for the 45 degree angle. Right handed side, you go up like this. Left handed, you go up like this. And um, then look for, for a height that has, has at least four pencil strokes. Then you have a really nice uh, size of your of your chisel lettering and use a easy block lettering and this is a nice way on how you can write nicely and um, people will be able to read your handwriting yeah exactly okay and this was it already for today so i hope you liked this little tip and like i said i may make another advanced uh, session on this if you want to listen learn more about advanced techniques write in the comments and of course if you like the video give it a like subscribe to the channel. I have also a newsletter oh, it's over there <laughs> and uh, follow me on all the social media channels. Okay, but the main thing is I hope you enjoyed the class and learned how to write with a chisel tip and see you next time. Bye.